Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. And you? I'm doing okay. You, you're teacher. still you're still inside the swimming pool. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in there. <laughs> All right, good. How was your day, Jose? Uh, it was good. A little uh, freeze. Cold? Little freeze. Cold, yes, a little cold. Right. A lot of wind because I I am work I am working the escalon. Yeah. Very yes. windy. Very, very windy. Very windy. Yeah, I was in San Salvador today in the morning, and it was it was windy. It was windy. Yes, the, we we have a, a a very strong wind. Right, right. We have to be um, careful with uh, with this weather. We have to be careful with this weather. Yes, tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow will will we have rain? No, no, no wind. Only rain. Only rain. Yeah, we have to be prepared. We have to be extra careful. Yes. Yep. All right, Julia, how are you? Good. How was Hi, your day, teacher. Julia? Resting all day. Good. Completing the platform. Eating. <laughs> vacation mood on <laughs> <laughs> that's the yeah. idea that's the idea to rest yeah i love i love when when the day is like today like great and windy uh -huh. i don't know yeah yeah i like that that, that uh, sensation. yeah i love that weather too you know i lived nine years yeah. in, a, in a city where it was usually cloudy and it was always cold. So I love the cold weather. Me too, teacher. Okay. Too. All right. So oh, welcome no. back, Jose, Julia, Rocio, Roxy, and Irene. What is today's date? Today is 17 November 2020. Yes, today is November 17th, 2020. Right. So as you can see, November is going out the door too. November is leaving us. Yes. Yes. All right. Um, yes. Have you guys advanced in the work from the platform? Yes. Already I completed. Okay, good, good. Yes, if, if you have time in your hands and you can move uh, faster, and, and get this over with, that will be even better. So you don't leave everything for the last minute, for the last day. So remember that you have until Thursday at 12 midnight to send all your work. All right? Okay. Because okay. Inglés Corporativo is going to send the, uh, the reports with your names and grades Friday morning. So if it's Friday morning and your name does not have the 80%, you will not be part of the next level. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's begin. Uh, do you guys remember the topics we covered yesterday? I see some new faces. Mario, Williams, Jose, Roxy. Teacher, uh, yesterday I, ha I had problems with connection. Okay. I couldn't be with, with the class. Right. Yeah, and today too. I mean, like some people are having internet uh, connection problems because of the weather, you know, like uh -huh. the antennas are not responding normally the way they should. So, yep. Okay. So, um, any questions or comments about yesterday? Because yes. We studied uh, yesterday about organ transplant. Yes. 
We had a discussion about organ transplant. Yes. And what oh, are the wow. most what are the most typical organs that people donate or transplant? Mm -hmm. The kidneys, the liver, kidneys, liver, lungs, lungs, lungs. Uh -huh. heart, heart, heart. Yes. Occasionally. Yep. So there the are corneas. different, mm -hmm. yeah, the corneas, right. Um, so there are different organs that have more demand than others, you know, so, and unfortunately there is a, a black market for organs too. So that's, that's what we have. All right, um, any questions or comments? No? No, teacher. All right, so our first activity is related with vocabulary that, uh, that we use when we are traveling. Let me see, where is this, where is this? I had that, uh, where is it? I, oh, right here. I must be blind. Okay, can you see the, the vocabulary? Yes. Yes. Okay, can somebody please read the first, uh, the first two? Culturally aware and uh -huh. culturally sensitive. Very good. Another volunteer for the second one. I. Yes, please. Non conforming. Uh huh. Non judgmental. Okay, non judgmental. Very good. Another volunteer for number three. Open hearted. Open hearted. Yeah. Uh huh. And open minded. Mind Good. Open minded. Open yeah. minded, right. And the last one, number four. Uh -huh. Self assured, self motivated, self reliant, self centered. Good. All right. Thank you. Um, any questions or comments about this vocabulary? This vocabulary is very essential. Uh, to put into practice when you are traveling. Any questions about this vocabulary? Self-assured. 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 Self yeah, self-assured. Uh -huh. That you are Whatever. very, uh -huh. you trust yourself very much. Uh, okay. Yes. And that's very confident. Oh, no. What is it? Self-confident. Uh, well, you you when you want to say confident, you don't need to really say the word self. So you said, I am confident about my knowledge. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's like confident. Yeah. It's Someone like else? Okay. Someone yes. else? Uh -huh. Culturally aware and self reliant. Okay, culturally aware. Okay. So, for example, uh, how do people in the Arab countries uh, greet? How do men greet? What, what is their way to say hello? Where? Hi. In, 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 in the Arab countries. So if you see your friend, huh? Or Salamalenga or something like that. Yeah, but, but how do they greet? What is the common way to say hello? So in El Salvador, Hi. we usually shake hands, right? Uh, what about in those countries? I don't know. Sometimes, uh, for example, in uh, Japan or uh -huh. Korea, they bow. Right. 
yes. they don't they don't have they don't don't use a she can right she? yeah there is no body contact right uh -huh. right uh -huh. so right so culturally aware is that when you visit another country you mm -hmm. will see things different but it's not awesome. supposed to surprise you because mm -hmm. of the situation okay yeah so that is the okay. culturally aware and what was the other word self-reliant -re oh self-reliant self-reliant ah, yeah reliant self-reliant self yes that um you trust yourself you trust yourself that is self-reliant non-judge non-judgmental non yes so in some countries um when a man sees another man they give a kiss on the cheek right oh, okay if you mm -hmm. see that here in el salvador people will judge you like this but in other countries people are like uh -huh. no that's normal with us so you learn to be non-judgmental mm -hmm. right okay yes so so that is the meaning of non-judgmental okay. yes Okay. All right. Okay, Any others? Oh. No. Okay. So uh, I oh. want you to yes. Okay. So I want you to get in pairs and discuss how this vocabulary is important in a person if the person is trying to visit um, another country. So. Okay. So let me assign you. Everybody has a partner. Uh -huh -huh. All right, here we go. different uh, vocabulary we have oh, here about okay. Uh, yeah okay um, the meaning and what is important to know when you travel to the other to other countries other countries mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah cultural aware mm -hmm. culturally sensitive Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's nice. no dangerous. I, I, I think, <laughs> I think it's not dangerous. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Here in my house too, I don't have a... Culturally aware. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Culturally is aware. Like... I understand that you are ready. You prepare. I mean, you get information about the place. You're going to travel, and then you prepare the, for example, um, a partner that I, that I, that that says that said that said I don't know <laughs> I don't know um for example in Japan or in Spain the man can give a kiss to the other people. Okay. Uh -huh, in, in Spain, I don't know if, it, if it is in Spain. Uh -huh. But in El Salvador, in El Salvador, it's not common. Uh -huh. It's only you have to greet with, with a hand. In El Salvador. For example, for Tierra Santa, right? For, for what? Tierra Santa, Jerusalem, or Israel? Tierra Santa. Mm. Tierra Santa. Holy. Holy what? Holy Land. Know. Holy Land. Holy Land. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, then the, the people normally uh, say that in this, in this place, 
uh, have a, um, um, a good sensitive <laughs> because... Yeah, you have to adapt to the uh, norms and customs that they have in the... In, in the, the uh, have you visited another country? Uh, yes, uh, close to Salvador, Jen. I haven't gone to to another country far another country. Salvador. What about you? Uh, yeah, I I have been in Spain. Oh, really? Twice, in, and in all Central America. Do you have family in Spain, Roxy? What? Do you have family in Spain? No. Uh, we visit Spain for work. Oh, okay. Uh -huh, because the, the university works with different universities in Spain. And okay. we were at Alicante. All right. Uh -huh. how, much, how much time were you there? Uh, 15 years. 15 years? I'm sorry, days. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So my I, God, so all I, my life. I, 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 yeah, I said, so Roxy, when she speaks Spanish, she sounds, she doesn't sound like a Salvadorian. No, okay. the first time was, uh, we, I, I, I had, uh, I was 10, 10 days and the second time, 15 days. Okay. For working. All right. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But very nice, very interesting. <laughs> yeah, the I imagine. The is very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Right. The place is very nice, but people very cold. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. I hear that. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, other yes. cultures, they are very different than, than El Salvador. Uh-huh. I think that they don't like Latinos. <laughs> yeah, they, there is a lot of racism in, in, in uh -huh. Spain. Yeah. In Spain, mm -hmm. that's true. But and other ones, they are very warm, very close, friendly, uh, friendly. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Nice. I think okay. that is very different type of people. Yeah. connecting my cell phone I am in my tablet so I don't have um, I don't have the, the, Im the image here but give me a second please and maybe I can right now I am in the in the chat in the chat group okay but I, I can't See the, la the last, the last one, the uh, image we have. I can't see anything because I am joining <laughs> just at, the, at this moment. Ah, okay, okay. Let me see. Uh, give me a second, please. Um, I am going to share the screen from my cell phone. The iPad. You want uh, I can share the screen? If you want. You can? Yeah. Okay, thanks. These are the words. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can see. 
Same to Rosio. Same to right now. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes, yeah. sir. How are you? <coughs> Good. What about you, Walter? Good. Good to see you. Yeah. Again. It's, it's been a couple of days since you disappeared. <laughs> uh, were you, man, were, were you together with Williams? <laughs> no. Williams <laughs> had disappeared too. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. It's good to have you guys back. Thanks. Have you have you I guys have... uh working on the on the platform? Yeah, yeah, I have I only um maybe I on less than uh, 20%, I, I think. Yes. Good. Good. Yes, I, I, I am the middle, in the middle. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So try to finish uh, before Thursday at 12 midnight because Friday morning um, we send the reports to INSA for and whoever is not ready will not be part of the next level. Yeah. yeah okay. Very good. Hi. Hello, hello. Hi, Francisco. So, Mario, were you on vacation? Yeah, Cecilia, how about... She has no, connection no. problems. Yeah, yesterday I, I feel sick. Oh. No, yesterday I feel sick. Yeah. The, even though on Sunday, uh, I, I start to feel sick uh, in Saturday. Saturday, I have uh, symptoms like uh, flu. So, I feel very anxious because I don't know if I have a, a flu or the COVID. Right. So I I have I have to rest Sunday and even though yesterday I feel a little sick, but right now I'm I feel totally okay. okay. So for the reason yes I, I'm here practice English. And Good. I saw the, the the news that we have to finish the the platform in in two days, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. You have about two days because uh, oh. twelve midnight yeah. on Thursday. Is we the we day don't have Friday. No, you don't have Friday. Yes, we don't have Friday for the fins. Right. Uh, and and the thing is that okay. we start we start the new level uh, this coming Monday, so uh, uh -huh. Thursday night at twelve that's gonna be the limit, because Friday mm -hmm. morning you know English Corporativo is gonna send all the reports to Insaforp. And whoever doesn't have the eighty percent will not be included in the next uh, level. And the next, and the next level is advanced four. Uh, no. Uh, what what level is this? This is advanced. Advanced three. Okay, advanced three. I don't remember the name. I don't remember the name. Do you know? De la prueba soy. Oh, TOEFL. The TOEFL practice. Oh, ah, TOEFL practice. Yeah. Uh, the, ne the next course is the TOEFL practice. Yeah, the, the TOEFL practice test, yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so that's why you guys need to um, prepare for the TOEFL test or the toy test. No, it's, I think it's TOEFL. Uh, or, or I don't remember if it's TOEFL or TOEIC. I know that it's TOEFL, but maybe they have changed it. Yeah. So that's why you guys need to finish your work in the platform. Business, sir. Business, sir. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Yeah, I have to, uh, today. Yeah, yeah, connection. Ah, yeah, sorry, I have bad connections too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, me no, too. Good. Yeah. I, I, I've been having problems with my connection because of the rain, the wind, and, and, and all those things. You know, it's affecting. Yes. yes. Right. Okay, so I'll be seeing yes. you later. So come back to my office after this English uh, class. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. But okay. in this. You this have time to continue I, working at night? Yes, sometimes I have to. <laughs> Are you in your house, Jose? Yes, yes, I, I am. You're doing home office. office. Home office. Okay. Yes. All right, Oscar. Mm -hmm. Are you on vacation? On vacation. Okay. 
Good. No, okay. Yeah. Good. So when, when, so when, I, when, I, I am relaxing. Right, right. When do you return to El Salvador? Yeah, uh, November 30th. Oh, okay. 14 okay, days. I, I, are you outside? Yeah. I'm outside. I'm, yeah, he's in the I'm US, US right now. Uh, really? <laughs> uh -huh, yes. Whoa. Uh -huh, you know, I'm in the in Illinois, in the Chicago area, and you know uh -huh. the, the they have a quarantine. Uh huh. The restaurants are closed, only delivery. And yesterday, I, I was talking to, to the teacher, telling him that that the quarantine, quarantine. Yeah, quarantine. It's not, not an obligation. It's just a, a, an advice, like uh, wear a mask, don't go out, avoid mm -hmm. the crowds. And still I see many people without mask. Outside. Yeah, yeah. Like here, in Mercado uh -huh. Central. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's so many people. And, uh -huh, and I don't know, here is... It's, it's a mess. Uh -huh. It's a mess, but uh, I'm staying home. I came and I'm enjoying my, my mother and Good. my daughter. Good. Enjoying my family. Nice. And I just I just go to the I today I went to the supermarket and that's it. And I haven't done anything. Good, good, very good. That sounds good. Ah, you work in Escalon, okay. Yeah. okay. We have an office in Escalon. Mm, interesting, interesting, okay. <laughs> Vilma, you're back. Yeah, teacher, I'm sorry. Were you on vacation? Yes. <laughs> I, I made me vacation. Me di vacaciones. Huh? I took a vacation day yesterday. <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher. Okay. <laughs> but I'm here, okay? Good. The, the yeah. jury can don't let her to come. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hurricane is giving her problems. <laughs> All right. All right, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. Any questions about that vocabulary that people should apply when you are abroad? Mm, our teacher, uh, we yeah. were discussing with, with my partner about uh, culturally aware and culturally sensitive. Uh -huh. Which which is specifically the difference? Okay. Or is similar? Uh, in a way, they are similar. Cultural aware is like you will see things that mm -hmm. um, should not surprise you. Oh, uh -huh, that's uh -huh. how they say hello here. Culturally mm -hmm. sensitive means respecting what you see, even ah, though okay. even even though maybe you don't agree with it. Okay. So you, so you identify yourself mm -hmm. with the new culture, new culture, and, and you show respect. Yes. And I have a question. Yes, Vilma. Uh, uh, what is the pronunciation and the meaning about no John, no John Mental? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? I, I don't know. No okay. John Mental. I don't know. Okay, let me. You're talking about non-judgmental, non-judgmental. 
non-judgmental. Okay, right. and what is the meaning? Okay, yeah. let, let me give you an example. Imagine that you go to San mm -hmm. Francisco, California. Uh, mm -hmm. It's normal that you will see two men holding hands, or you will see two ladies mm -hmm. holding hands. So if if okay. if you're not supposed to react, so I said, okay, they they have a different preference, but you're not supposed to judge. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. That's that's. Yeah, the... I got it. Yeah. All right. Good. Anybody else has any other questions or comments? No. All right. So let's talk about. Uh, what is the population in El Salvador? How much is the population? Almost six millions. Uh huh. Six millions. Yeah, six million. Oh. That's an estimate, right? So, More do you think? Estimated. So, do you guys think that six million people is a uh, overpopulation for a country our size? Yes, I believe. Yes, uh -huh. I think so. Okay, right. I think so. Okay, so what aspects do you think that provoke overpopulation? Why are we overpopulated? Not TV. Not TV, okay. <laughs> Not TV. All right. <laughs> yeah, uh, another no, reason is... why there is a demographic problem okay all right so um, what else historically el salvador has been sending i mean it has been overpopulated and sending mm -hmm. people to central america i mean to honduras and ah, honduras honduras but in the mm, early niner um Early century, I mean, long time ago, and uh -huh. now we send people but abroad uh, to the U.S. and in many parts of the world. But I, I believe it's historical. Right, right. Okay. Now, um, there are countries that they are overpopulated too, and you know, countries are different, and they have different reasons why they are overpopulated. So, El Salvador is such a small country, and there's a lot of people. A lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me. Where's this here? No, not this one. Uh -huh. Share screen. Share. Right here. Okay, can you see the questions? Yes, teacher. Okay, so maybe you want to take a screenshot from it, or if you prefer, mm -hmm. you can, um, I can send it to the WhatsApp chat. Mm -hmm. So, here we go. And let's continue speaking. Let me rearrange the breakout rooms, recreate, recreate. Mm -hmm. So move to room seven and this person will go to room five. All right, so there you have the questions uh, and answer them.
Can you see this? Okay, the question is over population a problem in your town or yeah, country? Yeah. Yes. Do you think it's a problem in your country, Rosie? Mm, yes. In, my, in our country, uh -huh. Yes, in our country. Uh, okay. Because okay. the big cities like San Salvador <laughs> uh -huh. are overpopulated because the traffic says everything. <laughs> the mountains, I don't know. But I yeah, after the, after the class, I go into the supermarket. So for the reason yeah, I I'm, I have to to eat right now, <laughs> but no, nah, it's okay. Don't worry. It's sorry. Okay. Um, so we have to talk about the population, right? Do you have the image? I think I I made the screenshot. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Can you Wait. please share me your screen, please? Just one second. I think that's the correct. Can you see it? Mm, yes. Okay. First question. Is our population a problem in your town or your country? Totally. Oh my God, yeah. I think so in our country, there aren't law to avoid this kind of problem. Like a China, I have heard they have a love in order to the family just have one or two children, but here you can have. Ah, uh, yeah. They are going to do something for about, but we don't know. We don't do don't do. Yeah. yeah. So uh, about the second question, the natural disaster reduce overpopulation. I think no. Uh, because uh, or, or unless in our country we don't have a big problem with uh, natural disaster about reduce uh, our population or about the people died uh, a cause of the natural disasters I think but uh, I don't know what do you think for me natural disaster maybe reduce overpopulation but no 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 a lot okay because, uh, normally when for example in in nehapa disaster nehapa right uh, reduce overpopulation but a few <laughs> a few but the overpopulation continue the 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 level Oh, that. Yeah, mm -hmm. because born a lot child too. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, uh, re reduce because the, the people die, but exactly. Uh huh. But no, 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 a lot. We can see a few people, a few people. Uh huh. The other population is in San Salvador, uh -huh, Santa Tecla, Santa Tecla City, uh -huh, and that is, that is my opinion. Mm -hmm. So, Apango City. Yeah. <laughs> Apango City, uh -huh. that is City Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, number two. Do natural disaster reduce our population? Everybody wants to live in the San Salvador or nearest, or nearest place from the job. Okay, let me see the second, the second say, do natural disaster reduce overpopulation? I guess, no. I guess I, see, I guess yes. Because, well, because, well, well, yeah. <laughs> because um, we, when we had a disaster, natural disaster, many people die, <coughs> and that's reduce our population. Don't you? I, I are not. I had. They are not promoting. They are not promoting the the the. I mean, planification. <laughs> natal, natal control, something like that. I, I don't remember how to say planification. 
Yeah, birth but control. Birth control, mm -hmm. aha, birth control. So the the religions uh, doesn't, no, 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 no. Religions don't uh, promote the birth control, so they are not helping. Oh, yeah, you're mm -hmm. right. You are right. I think there are some part of the religion in, instead of reduce the population, they are increasing the population uh -huh. because this is, um, well, if you, if you think about um, some, some statements that the religion says, uh -huh. for example, uh, it's a very awkward question, but yeah, I don't I, know. If we... I... <laughs> hey, Francisco, I don't know if why I get... do you ask that? What? Yeah. Do hey. natural disasters reduce the overpopulation? Wow. <laughs> the way to it's say very... that we are waiting that to natural disaster kill us. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but is 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 true. Yeah, it, it reduces yeah, right the now. population, you know, because there's <laughs> yes. there's there's the people. We but... have the better uh, example: the, the coronavirus is not a natural disaster, the but <laughs> yes, it's killing us. Yeah, how many people have For, we lost in El Salvador? A little not, bit more than a thousand, huh? Exactly, more than a little I bit. I don't know. One yeah. thousand and hundred and one hundred. I'm not sure. Right. What about in the U.S.? How many people have they lost in the U.S.? Millions. Mm, more than a million, are you sure? Uh, Maybe millions. No. I don't uh, know. No, 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 uh, infected, infected are more than five millions. Oh, right, but right. But deaths from COVID? No, yeah, deaths from COVID, I, I, I don't know. Last time that I read, uh, I think it was a quarter of a million, like, 250,000, I think. I, I, I don't remember exactly, but it's a lot. Yes, a lot of people. Right. So they reduce the, the overpopulation for the reason, and they don't have a, like to pay the, the labor cost of all the employees. And I don't know, they yeah, have a lot of. Point. Yes, <laughs> they have a lot of. Mm -hmm. And the and the Probably mainland, I uh -huh, the yeah. mainland China. I the bet. mainland China has the one one children policy. Oh yeah. But um, I I think China has so many. Uh, it's overpopulated the country, and and yeah. they are doing well on that because the the next generation. Uh, I don't think they are going to continue with the one-child policy because they have solved so many economical problems, and they will be doing well in their in their economy. Well, but um, there is many. For example, they have taken conscious that just the their country is no. Uh, in like a world in the future, we we, go, we we will damage our country if we have a many children. I think is they can yeah. take conscious about that. Exactly. Yep. <clears throat> so. 
which which question were you guys discussing? We are going to discuss in the number six. Okay. Yeah. The so you see the earth might be so overpopulated. A little a, li, a little player is mm -hmm. they have to conform how to choose the a little a little players. Yes, yes. And I had um I have a point when we have an overpopulation in a country. I this is the cause that how do you say Maras teacher? Gangs. Um, gangs. There are a lot of gangs a cause a cause this problem, I think. Mm -hmm. The overpopulation causes these things. Mm -hmm. Cause these things. Mm -hmm. And our focus how to yeah. to watch the overpopulation, yes. Mm -hmm. Overpopulation. Okay, number number four. Could you read the number four, Jose? Of course. How big a threat to the planet is overpopulation? Mm, how big a okay. The planet. Yeah. Yes. And live your life. That's it. Um, Next question. Are the problems of overpopulation different in the developed and developing worlds? Developed okay. and developing okay. worlds. Let me read it again. Are the problems uh -huh. of overpopulation different? Ah, develop? I, I think I understand the question. It's like for example, it's different the overpopulation here in El Salvador that oh. the overpopulation in the United States. Yeah, uh -huh. got it. Mm -hmm. Because right now we don't have more lands to well, we, we have lands to build too many houses. But if we, we build more houses, they have a, a lot of problem, like natural disaster, like the for example, Nehapa town. They have that problem because they built a lot of houses and and companies near from the river. I think that it was a problem. So if, if we do that uh, in five or 10 years, uh, they have this same problem. Yeah, we are starting to pay the price yes. to be overpopulated, yeah. And in the United States, uh, they reduce the, the, I don't know if they reduce the lands, but they, they built uh, a lot of buildings so they have a lot of apartments in a, in, a, in a city that they have a big population. For example, New York, New York have a, a lot of population and for that reason, they have a lot of buildings. Exactly, like apartments. Yeah, apartments. The ghetto. Oh, the ghetto, uh huh? Yes. And maybe here in Sabado, this is a We are starting to, be, uh, to, to build, we are starting to free to build apartments but yes. <laughs> they are like too expensive it's too much really they are, expensive they are, yeah they are uh, asking too much for, for for an apartment yeah in this area of san salvador it's too much i can yeah. pay well like one thousand hundred and four and forty five thousand I don't know. Yeah, yeah, 145,000. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, for an apartment like two rooms, a little kitchen. Uh, no. Oh, it's too expensive. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And rent is expensive too. Like if you move to an apartment near Les Calones San Benito, you easily pay $1,000 just 1, for rent. Yeah, just 1000 more the security and the maintenance of the building. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, yeah it's, it's too much. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, I think it's overpriced. Yeah, definitely. Mhm. Mm That's a yeah a way to do. In this point, I I don't agree with with this with topic or with this idea because a uh, men thing probably no is no solution. <laughs> For me, it, the children have pl a pl pl planning, right? Oh, planning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can be planning. Mm -hmm. Can mm -hmm. be plans. Mm -hmm. 
in the best way. Yeah. I I totally agree with that because you 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 can think about the, if you have the economic uh, position for that, uh, if you have enough space or enough time for that the children or uh, I, I, I okay, it's a lot of things to think <laughs> when you planning to have a children i think because uh, i don't i don't marry it but i, I don't know much about <laughs> yeah children yes. should be planned yes in order to, yeah in order they have a future give more opportunities they be a, can have a, a rich a good future for, for there yeah. Right. Yeah. Definitely. Exactly. Big, but they have overpopulation. The, yeah. the main. The main city. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. In 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 our case, mm, I don't think if we uh, we are thinking in order to create uh, rules for for the stop uh, the the number of children for couples i don't i don't think so maybe many day many years uh, in the future in one day i suppose we i guess we are um, or we are having or the governments they are thinking and in order to to create rules to a stop to uh -huh, yeah, to a stop to the the big numbers of of families okay mm -hmm. maybe okay. one day i suppose i suppose <laughs> mm -hmm. it can be possible but i think culturally in the people uh, the people are creating um, creating aware uh, creando conciencia about the the how, how many children they they can they can raise because uh, the economy is it's a little difficult. Yeah. All right, all right. Any questions or comments about overpopulation? It was a really interesting topic. Okay, yeah. yeah. You know, especially yeah. because we have that problem here in El Salvador. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Yeah. All okay. right. Any questions or comments before you guys are dismissed? Mm, we're all going to die anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay. so thank you very much for your time i'll be seeing you tomorrow at eight o'clock have a good night good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. take care bye-bye <laughs>